Tyler Valencia here, president of KIPS. I'm here with Sean Corfrey. We're in Westlake Village. We're at Athletic Society. So Sean is actually going to be with us in Long Beach on April 21st for the True Mace training certification. He's going to teach the flow portion of the lecture. So Sean has been doing flow movements with his buddy Trevor Tom for a while. He's part of Genesis Flow. So right now he's going to do an explanation and a breakdown of a flow movement that someone that has maybe never done a flow movement. Maybe they've done traditional mace, they've done 10 to 2s, 360s, sliders, whatever that might be. And he's going to break it down for you, show the movements, and then show how you can connect them. So Sean, go ahead and take it over. Thanks, Tyler. So we're going to do a three movement flow piece by piece and talk about how we're trying to load the body. Like Tyler said, it's untraditional. To start, we're going to be in a feet shoulder width stance, grabbing the mace with my right hand low, uh, left hand high. It's going to be a squat with a reach across the body. And as I pull the mace up and around, I'm going to switch hands. And you'll notice as I'm doing this movement, I'm allowing my hips to sit opposite of the momentum of the mace. And then as I stand, that's driving the mace up and around. My goal is just to move with good rhythm and timing, not trying to go fast, getting the whole body to work together to drive the movement of the mace. Okay, that's movement one. Movement two, we're gonna try to capture the momentum of the mace using the lateral tissues of the body. So as the mace swings up, I'm gonna grab near the handle, near the ball, and I'm sitting the hip out to the side as I reach with the left hand. So it's gonna go squat and swing, stand and reach. The momentum of the mace is going to my right, so I'm gonna sit my hip slightly to the left to lengthen those tissues on the lateral side of the body. And then we get the other side. The third movement, we're gonna lengthen the tissues on the anterior chain. It's gonna be that same swing here. As the mace comes around, I'm grabbing it, I'm pivoting the feet. And I'm reaching overhead, trying not to overarch my back, and then pulling it back through. So it's going to go swing, catch it with the tissues on the front side of the body. And those are the three movements.